<sighs> Hello. <clears throat> Hello. I'm here and I'm recording myself in my office again, saying more things again because I feel like saying them. Maybe it's because I love the way that I talk, but I don't give a, I don't care. I just don't care. Um, you remind me of someone. You. Why am I saying it like this? Like, as if I know you. Um, you. Because I'm talking to you, whoever you are. And if it. If any of this makes sense, can you just let me know? Um, I'm really hearing this song by Janeri. Stop, you can let it go. Don't make me sing. Um, Take a step back, let the feelings flow. Look around, feel the ground. Love will make its way around. That might be, it's roughly those lyrics. <clears throat> That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing, I'm feeling that. It is to just let things be. Um, I have here that the best way to not drown is to let go. And especially after this full moon in Pisces and then this eclipse and all this stuff. It's a lot of water energy. It was a lot of water energy. So whatever there is, like, a lot of water suddenly, you know. It's good to swim whenever you're under the water, um, if you're getting knocked around or whatever. But nothing floats like somebody who's unconscious or, as they call it, the dead man's float. Now, I'm not saying go be dead. I'm not saying to pretend to be dead. I am saying that you're being told to like relax all of your muscles and float in the energy of whatever's going on. <clears throat> and trust that the current is going to take you to a shore because it is simply physics. That is simply how water behaves, two, 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 as I'm saying this. So I need to explain it in a way that doesn't sound like you actually have to do anything. I say need, we don't need anything. Um, So maybe it is just laying, it is laying in bed, not just. Maybe it is laying in bed and crying and not doing anything or whatever because it is time to just like actually be in bed for you because you work all the time. Um, and maybe it's actually believing that there is enough for everyone and for you and for all of your dreams and everybody else's dreams too. I feel like there's been a lot of times that you have felt like you were lacking, like, or that people were lacking the ability to see how good you are in your talents. And so that has been very, a little disheartening. And even that time, it feels like the universe is like almost like giving you something and taking it back and then like, oh, play this little game. And so as we let go and you know that the current is taking you somewhere then you have time to think about other stuff what is the world smell like what <clears throat> what do you feel like most days how are you feeling right now when I mean, was the last time you asked yourself how you were feeling um and let yourself actually feel it or was it too inconvenient because there was another job that had to be done there was another shift that had to be worked so it had to be stuffed and moved what comes to mind is vienna by billy joel slow down you crazy child you're so ambitious for a juvenile if you're so smart then tell me why are you still so afraid Because so many people are scared right now. <clears throat> Just scared, full fear. It's easier to 
fall into the scared mentality or fear mentality because it's either fear or love in our life. It's all the emotions are just different concentrations of fear or love. And so fear is very easy whenever we are simply mammals having a spiritual experience, being able to experience and recollect and comprehend. And still, we have our animalistic instincts, which are survival. And some of us, most of us, because we are naturally surviving beings in order, they say whatever we're believing, 555 as I'm saying this, but we were like rodents back in dinosaur days, those types of mammals that hid away. Because they were scared and hid, they survived. So much so that now we're little mouse people <laughs> walking around, recording ourselves on little devices and saying and, and, and speaking to source. <clears throat> and when that is so embedded in our DNA as species, 66 as I'm saying this, then Breaking or changing that pathway is difficult. The best way to break those pathways is with love. The places that we usually feel safe, and that is if you have been able to feel safe in your life, have been places where you have felt love. Even if it is just, not just, even if it is you on your own and you are finding ways to love yourself and to provide a safe space for yourself. So much so that it's like, it's like you finally feel the opposite of cringe. It is, it is fulfillment, it is That is good, good stuff. Uh, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven. <clears throat> I meant to say seven, three, seven, I said three, seven, three. You got this, you got this kiddo. Even a baby can float. So, we'll all float on, all right. <laughs>